and today I'm going to do this quick tutorial and I'm going to show y'all how to do the waffle stitch. So typically I know you can do the waffle stitch and work it where you chain a section and work it from the bottom up. But I'm going to show you today how to do it from the middle out. So to do it in a square so you don't have to worry about how many chain stitches you need. Worry about working in multiples of so many chain stitches and then having to count your chain stitches. We're going to start from the middle and work our way out, which is the, to me, the easiest method and way for doing the waffle stitch. So you see, I have a piece here that I've worked up and it literally does look like a waffle. My mom, I was showing her the other day what I was working on and she's like, that looks like a waffle. I said, yeah. I said, mom, it's the waffle stitch. She's like, okay. Cause it definitely was named right. So, but anyway, we'll get right in onto it and I will show y'all. Here's what the back looks like. So this is the wrong side and you can see it, but if you turn it over, the right side looks like the waffle, um, looks like the ridges of the waffle. It is made from a combination of double crochets and front post double crochets. Very easy to get the hang of. It's not very hard at all. It's made from two row repeats after you get started. So it's really easy and we'll just jump right in here. Okay, so to get started, I just have a worsted weight yarn and an I five and a half millimeter hook. And to get started, we're going to make a magic ring or circle. And I'm going to chain three into that ring. Two, three, or from the ring. Okay, so now to go on, I am going to do a double crochet in the magic circle and chain one. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work two double crochet in the ring and chain one. So I'll repeat that, work two double crochet and chain one, repeat that two more times into the ring. Once more. Okay, I've repeated it twice. I will now pull the center of the ring and close the hole. And I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my chain three. So that is row one. And after row one, you should have eight double crochet and four chain one corners. And I might add that row one, this is going to be the right side. So it is facing the right side because each row we do, we are going to turn our work. So going on to row two, we will turn our work and this will be the wrong side. So we'll be working on the wrong side. And we're going to slip stitch into this corner. Okay, after you slip stitch, you're going to chain four. And this chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one corner. And then in this corner, we will also work another double crochet. So then we go into this side, we are going to work a front post double crochet in both of these stitches. Around like so. And then when we get to the next corner, we're going to work a double crochet and chain one and a double crochet in the corner. And then we'll just do that around our little square. And when I get back to the, after I do that in the corner, I have these two double crochet. I'm going to work a front post double crochet into each of those stitches. So I'm just going to keep continuing around the square. I'm back here to corner. Well, we're going to work a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet in this corner. Here's two more double crochet. We're going to work a front post double crochet around them too. I've met to another corner. I will work a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet in the corner. Okay, and here's my last side. I've got still two more double crochet that I'll work a front post double crochet around. 
and then I will slip stitch into the third chain of this chain four and that is row two which is a wrong side row so this is the back of your work and after row two you should have 16 double crochet and four chain one corners if you wanted to get technical I guess you could say you should have eight double crochet and eight front post double crochet but it's easier just to count them as stitches and not be like separate in the front and the front post and the regular double crochet to me so it's not much looking like a waffle stitch yet but trust me after we go a few rows it will it just this pattern takes a couple rows before it looks before you can see it because I wondered the same thing when I started it did not look like I was thinking it should but it will after we go on so we will go on to row three row three we're going to turn our work so this is a right side row and we are going to chain three and after chain three we're going to work a front post double crochet around this very first stitch And then these next two stitches, we will work just a regular double crochet. And then this last stitch, we're going to work a front post double crochet. And as you start to go around, you will learn which ones, just by looking, you will work a front post in or a regular double crochet in. You will learn just by the looking of it, because I know I did after I'd done it a couple times. And so now I'm at a corner. So in this corner, I'm going to work two double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochet. And I'm pretty much going to repeat the same thing I did from here around. I am going to front post double crochet on this first stitch. I'm going to work regular double crochet in the next two stitches. And then I'm going to work a front post double crochet on this last stitch. And then we'll do the same thing in this corner as the previous corner. I'm going to work two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. And then we'll just follow that manner all the way around. And you can start to see how it's starting to look a little bit more like a waffle right here on this side. You can start to see the ridges and how it's starting to form little squares. So I'm back to this side, we're going to work a front post double crochet on that first stitch, two double crochet in the next two stitches, or one double crochet in the next two stitches, I might clarify. Last stitch, a front post double crochet. I'm back in another corner, two double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochet. So it's all gonna follow the same pattern. Okay, another side. So here's another side. I'm gonna do a front post, double crochet, work two regular double crochet, a front post double crochet. This is the last corner. I'm going to work two double crochet, chain one, and since this chain three already counts as a double crochet, I will just work one double crochet and slip stitch into the top of that chain three because it counts as a double crochet stitch. So that is round three. And you can start, you can look and see how it's starting to look so much more like a waffle than it was. So at the end of row three, you should have 32 double crochet stitches and four chain stitches for corners so you should have 32 and if you want to count it as um eight front post double crochet and 24 double crochet you could if that made more sense you wanted to count your front post separate from your regular double crochet so there is round three so going on to round four we will turn our work again we will slip stitch into this corner and we will chain four and then we will double crochet in the corner 
going on we will work um, a front post double crochet around the next two stitches you will then work a du regular double crochet in the next stitch and then work a front post double crochet on the next two stitches and you'll just repeat that across till you reach the next corner so there is my two front post double crochet I'm gonna work a regular double crochet then I'm gonna work a front post double crochet over the next two stitches and you just repeat that all the way down until you get to the corner and in the corner you're going to double crochet chain one and double crochet And then you're pretty much just going to repeat that, what you just did on this side, all the way around your square. So after you've done that corner, you're going to work a front post double crochet on the next two stitches. And then you're going to work a double crochet in the next. And you're going to repeat that all the way around until you get to this last side, the last corner, and I'll meet y'all back up here. made it around back to this last corner so when you make it back to your last corner you will just slip stitch into the top of that third stitch of that chain four and then that is round four at the end of round four you should have 40 double crochet stitches and four corners of chain stitches so I'm gonna flip it over here so we can see how it is starting to look more like a waffle so much more like a waffle here so like i said it after you row three you go to a two round repeat so that was row four and then we'll go on to row five and after round five you will just keep repeating rows four and five until it is as big as you want so we'll go back on okay so going on to round five i'm going to slip stitch in this corner and then i'm going to turn my work so once i turn my work i'm going to chain three and I'm going to work a front post double crochet around this first stitch and then I'm going to work two double crochet and then I'm going to work a double crochet in the next two stitches and I'm just gonna repeat that across front post double crochet double crochet in two stitches and repeat it till I get to this corner so there's a front post there's two double crochet or a double crochet in the next two stitches front post double crochet double crochet in the next two stitches and then one more And then one more front post double crochet. And then I will, in the corner, I will do two double crochet. Chain one. And two more double crochet. And then I will repeat that all the way around till I will get to my last corner. And I will repeat that all the way around the square and meet y'all back up here. So I've made it back to my very last corner. In this last corner, I will work two double crochet, chain one, and work one double crochet. And you'll slip stitch into the top of this chain three, and that is row five. And you can see how it looks so much more like a waffle now than it has this on our time. Um, to keep continuing growing your waffle stitch piece you will just keep continue repeating rounds four and five and you can repeat those for as many rounds as you want to get the size you want 
and I will link the written instructions below if you'd rather be able to read the instructions. And I hope y'all guys liked this tutorial. If y'all did, be sure and click subscribe and check out my blog for more tutorials and free crochet patterns. Happy crocheting, guys!